Hello everyone, Napsfaya coming here asking, ugh, asking, answering some questions. A couple of people have asked me. Um, I'm going to jump right into it because they're kind of in depth. Very, very, very great questions. The first one is, when you were in your natural phase, did you comb your hair? I am asking because yesterday I decided I wasn't going to use a comb anymore. It's day two and I am curious if your journey led you down a similar path. Yes, when I was in my natural phase, I did use a comb. Um, but you're comparing, I'm assuming that you're comparing the, the not combing anymore in, in when I just had the fro to the free forming in the lock um, world. I know it's not a, its own world, but it is similar to the same thing because I'm no longer wanting to cultivate them as far as palm roll or interlock them or tighten them. So it can similar, I guess you're saying that I'm, I guess you could say that I'm letting them go. Whereas if you have the fro and you're combing them, you know, you're maintaining your fro and combing and parting. You're no longer combing it anymore. So I don't know if you are, um, because you didn't mention, I don't know if you're wanting to lock from the fro, which of course, if you are, you can just stop combing your hair, just shampoo, just let it go. And your hair will naturally mat on its own um, without you doing it, doing anything to it, if that's what you decided. If I didn't answer your question, all of the questions I'm going to ask, if I didn't answer what you were wanting, please contact me, let me know, um, and I can go into more detail about, about your question. Um, the next one is, um, I'm actually undecided in terms of should I let them marry or not. I want to, but just the fact that I have absolutely no control is a little frightening, but I'm learning. If you have any advice, that would be great. Um, fun video as usual. Um, if you're afraid of the letting them mat together without, you know, knowing which direction that will go and you're still wanting to freeform, then you can just do the method of shampooing and you can just pop them. Or if you're not wanting to pop them, you can just, you know, cut them away from each other. Or as you're shampooing, you know, you're going through and you're pulling them apart so that they will not, you know, mat together or marry. So um, that's another thing. You don't necessarily have to let them mat together. You can shampoo after you're shampooing. Either pull them apart, go through and snip them apart, or as you're shampooing, you can keep the hairs from going together. Okay. Next question is, I've gotten to the point, okay, you know, my question is, I've gotten to the point where I only retwist every one and a half to two months and my scalp is so sensitive when doing so she says but doing so when doing so but interlocking interlocking sort of makes my hair weak and I don't care much for palm rolling here's the question does free forming hurt your scalp does the pulling from the root to the locked portion of your hair just pull like crazy? Because for me, it does, and I always have to pop my locks. Well, if you're free forming, you're not pulling on anything unless you're separating them. Okay, is what I'm trying to understand. You said that your scalp is sensitive um, and it hurts when you interlock them. Now, if you're interlocking them too tight, that will make them start to thin and weaken because you there you know it's not necessarily a lot of people think you have to get it really really tight and you don't have to but um interlocking should not weaken your hair palm rolling and i'm sure a lot of people will debate about this but a lot of times some people palm roll too tightly and that starts to thin you know at your edges um, but the interlocking should not weaken your hair now if you're wanting to freeform freeforming like I said does not hurt your scalp and um, if you're wanting to as I was telling the previous person if you're wanting to keep them separated while shampooing you can or you can pop them apart or you can cut them 
a way to keep them from um, marrying to each other if you're not wanting them to mat together. Um, next one, my question is when you're free forming, how does that work in a corporate environment? My friend semi free forms, but she is a beautician. I find more artistic jobs except free forming and semi free forming better in the workplace. I love to wear funky styles with my sister locks on the weekend, but during the week I have updos. What do you do with thick free formed locks? Well, as you all know, I am now in my own business, but I was too in the corporate world. Um, I worked for an attorney and I used to go to court with the attorney. A lot of times, and you all might disagree with me, a lot of times some jobs, you know, might tell you to wear your hair a certain way, but a lot of times it is us who feel like we can't, and as you can see, I'm a little passionate about this because I hear a lot of people saying this and I'm not getting on to the person that just sent this, but a lot of people say, well, my job wouldn't allow that. Well, I can't do that at my job. A lot of times it's us ourselves that hinders ourselves. The people probably wouldn't even care. I'm not saying going in with your hair sticking all out crazy, but as you can see, I'm free forming. I, you know, kept my hair neat. It wasn't all over the place. But a lot of times it's us holding ourselves back from wearing our hair the way that we want to wear it. You can free form. That boss isn't going to know that, you know what, you're free forming and we don't allow free forming here. They don't know that. So if that's what you want to do, do it. Be confident. Do it. You can still roll your free form locks on rollers and wear curls. You know, um... Yeah, they're going to match together. They're going to grow together. You can still do the basket weave. You can still do a lot of things with your, your locks when they free form. It's not, like I said, you can still keep them nice. You can still keep them clean, keep them neat. It's all about, I, I think it's just all how, how we've, and I'm saying we, because I know, you know, I've hindered myself from doing a lot of things because I thought other people would think a certain way about it. And it wasn't even like that. Um... The question was, what do you do with thick free-formed locks? And like I said, you can roll them up on rollers. The curl, um, a lot of people do the, um, I can't think of the curl things, but I use the sponge rollers. And um, I have a video where I rolled them up on sponge rollers. I had a video that I did the paper sack curls. And, you know, the pin-up do's. You can still do a lot of things with free-formed locks. But um, rock your locks. <laughs> The way you want to do them, you know, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And the last question is, what made you decide to start freeforming and stop separating? And I, I miss the silliness and you cracked me up. Um, but she was saying, what made me decide to start freeforming and stop separating them? Started freeforming. I honestly like the way that they look. Um, the cultivated look was, you know, okay in the beginning. But to me, I was like, um, that's not me. That's not how I want my locks to look. I really, I'm, and I'm sure you've seen my style, am kind of like a eccentric, just kind of out there type person. And that's how I wanted my hair to be. Um, what made me stop separating was, in another video I did was, I basically said, I've heard a lot of people talk about how they their hair spoke to them. And I'm like, come on now, your hair is not speaking to you. But I can see where, what they meant by that. Which means I would still be pulling mine apart. And it was like, you know what? I'm ripping my hair. Why am I doing this? Um, then one day I just decided, you know what? I'm not going to pull them apart anymore. I'm going to let them do what they do. Was what I basically said. I'm going to let them do what they do. I'm going to shampoo them. Oil my scalp massage my scalp and just let them do do their thing so um i thank you all for your questions um i hope i answered them for you like i said if i did not let me know i can go back um and clarify some things for you i hope everyone is having an awesome week um everything is going good for me um here at the house in my business and with my family and stuff just in case y'all were wondering <laughs> But um, I will talk to you guys later. This is your girl, Naps Faya. Peace out.